Hello students. Today is 14th April 2020. Today we will learn about rounding off of numbers. Rounding off a number means to write that number which is a multiple of 10, 100, 1000 etc. and which is closest to the number which we are rounding off. Let's take an example. 72. Now 72, the closest number which is the multiple of 10 is 70. And closest number which is the multiple of 100 to 72 is 100. Now what is multiple? Multiples of 10 means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 etc. And multiples of 100 means 100, 200, 300, etc. Now the question arises, why we round off? We round off to make the calculation, that is addition, subtraction, etc. easy. And we also round off to find the estimated value or the guessed value. Here we will learn about different ways of rounding off the numbers. Now before learning about rounding off, let's understand about number line. What is a number line? The line of numbers is called a number line. Very simple. A straight line and the numbers are written over there. The line of numbers is called a number line. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Second example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Third example, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. One more, 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. These all are the examples of number line. Now let's come back to the rounding off process. The first way to round off is rounding off to nearest 10. To round off a number to nearest 10, we will put that number on number line and see that the number is closer to what multiple of 10. Multiple of 10 means 10, 20, 30, 40 as I've already told you. Let's see with an example. Round off 53 to nearest 10. Now 53 when we put on the number line. This is a number line. Starting from 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 and 60. Now 53 is closer to which multiple of 10? 50 or 60? 53 is between 50 and 60 but it is closer to it is closer to 50 so round off of 53 to nearest 10 is 50 let's take another example round off 446 to the nearest 10 now 446 when we put on number line starting from 440 441, 442, 443, 444, 445, 446, 447, 448, 449 and 450. Now 446 is between 440 and 450 but it is closer to 450. Isn't it? 446 is closer to 450. So 446 round off to nearest 10 will be 450. Now, if the number is exactly between two tens, then what? If the number is between exactly two tens, then it is always rounded off to the higher 10. For example, round off 985 to the nearest 10. Now 985 is between 980 and 990. Okay? It is exactly in between. 
Now, as for, as I've already told, if the number is exactly between two tens, then it is always rounded off to the higher ten. Here, nine ninety is the higher ten. Okay, so nine eighty five will be rounded off to nearest ten as nine ninety. Okay. Let's take one more example. Round off one hundred fifteen to nearest ten. Now one hundred fifteen when we put on the number line starting from one hundred ten, one hundred eleven, one hundred twelve, one hundred thirteen, one hundred fourteen, one hundred fifteen, one hundred sixteen, one hundred seventeen, one hundred eighteen, one hundred nineteen, and one hundred twenty. The one hundred fifteen is exactly between one hundred ten and one hundred twenty. So round off of 115 to nearest 10 is 120 because 120 is the higher 10. Okay, so right now we have learnt about rounding off of numbers to nearest 10. Now let's talk about rounding off to nearest 100. To round off a number to nearest 100. we will put that number on number line and see that it is closer to what multiple of 100 once again for the reminder multiple of 100 means 100 200 300 etc let's see an example round off 677 to nearest 100 now when we put 677 on a number line starting from 600 to 700 These are the two multiples of hundred. Okay, so six hundred, six hundred ten, six hundred twenty, six hundred thirty, six hundred forty, six fifty, six sixty, six seventy, six eighty, six ninety, and seven hundred. Now the number is six seventy seven. Now six seventy seven will be somewhere between six seventy and six eighty. Let us suppose it's here. Now six seventy seven is closest. Closer to which multiple of hundred, seven hundred or six hundred? It is easy to see that it is closer to seven hundred. So six hundred seventy-seven round off to nearest hundred is seven hundred. Clear? Now, if the number lies exactly between two hundreds. Then it is always round off to the higher hundred. Okay, let's see with an example. Round off seven fifty to the nearest hundred. Now seven fifty is between seven hundred and eight hundred, and it is exactly in between them. As we have already uh, learned that if a number lies exactly between two hundreds, then it is always round off to the higher hundred. So here. Seven fifty round off to the nearest hundred will be eight hundred. Okay, so that's all for today, students. What topics we have learned today? Rounding off of numbers, rounding off to nearest ten, and rounding off to nearest hundred. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.